Logitech have just brought out an S upgrade to the legendary MX Master 3, but at first glance, well, they don't look much different than the older model. So let's find out if it's actually worth buying it or whether you should buy the MX3 instead. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Tech Carmoon, we uncover all kinds of tech from Apple Macs to, well, mices. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated. So yes, I have two MX Master 3s, which I've used for years now. And in all honesty, for video editing, it is the best mouse out there. So when Logitech announced this change, I ordered this straight away and got this as soon as possible. Just to let you know, Logitech didn't send this out to me. I have paid for this myself and they have no input on this video whatsoever. So let's run through what you get in the box as it gets a little bit better than what you got in the older models. So first of all, you get user documentation, the Logitech Bolt USB receiver, a USB-A to USB-C cable, and then the MX Master 3S mouse itself. Now, if you look at Logitech's website, they say it's an iconic mouse remastered. I'm sorry, but it's not. It's got a few small upgrades that I'll get into in a second, but everything else about this mouse is identical to these two. I mean, you would expect that because this is an S model update, but again, it is definitely not remastered from these, as you can see. So the 3S I have here is in white, as you can see, but yeah, in terms of design, as you can see, they haven't changed it whatsoever. But this isn't a bad thing because honestly, these are so comfortable. Yes, it's on the heavier side if you're coming from a gaming or even a cheap mouse, but honestly, this feels solid. The materials are nice in the hand and it just fits like a glove. For small hands, the mouse might feel a little bit big, but the left and right buttons are easy to click from top to bottom, so I can't see this being a problem. It's also slightly angled to the side, which means they're a little bit more ergonomic than a normal mouse, and it's nice that you've got a thumb rest here as well. This is on the heavier side at being around 140 grams or so, compared to, let's say, the Logitech Pro X Superlite, which is a gaming mouse at 60 three grams so it is more than twice as heavy as that but don't let this put you off because this is still really comfortable to use for productivity and video editing now i would be lying if i said that i would have liked maybe 20 or even 30 grams off of the weight but i've been using it for literally a couple of years now and yeah it hasn't stopped me from using this mouse whatsoever. In terms of buttons, you actually have a hidden one at the thumb rest. Then you have the side scroll wheel and two side buttons, which you can program. And then at the top, you have another button. And then you have this mag speed scroll wheel, which I have to say is just market leading. Now, when it comes to the left and right click, they have actually silenced it from the previous models. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do a click test right here rather than up close just to hear the sound difference to see if it's actually going to make a difference let's say when you are using it in the real world. For me, I'm not that bothered about the mouse clicks, but if you are someone who records tutorials or does a lot of video teaching, then this could make a bigger difference to you. Logitech actually didn't include the softer clicks in their previous model because they couldn't actually make it last that 10 million clicks. However, they managed to figure it out apparently. Now, typically when they dampen the sound, it can feel a little bit mushier. So is this the case with the MX Master 3S? Well, yeah, a little bit. It does have a satisfying click, but it's just not as nice as the MX Master 3. I mean, these clicks just, just feel 
perfect. Whereas this, there is that mushiness to it that, I mean, to be honest, you'll probably get over within a couple of days. The scroll wheel, like I mentioned earlier, is market leading, full stop. It has two modes. So you have the normal sort of notched feeling of that scrolling wheel, and then you have this fast scrolling, which I've never seen on another mouse because apparently it uses electromagnets to allow it to roll for a really, really long time. Like it's, it's just still going, still going, still going. Yeah, it is really impressive. Now this mouse can connect up to three devices wirelessly via Bluetooth. Now you can connect up to three devices via Bluetooth or using the included receiver. At the bottom of the mouse there is a button and you can easily toggle through all three systems by just pressing it. The Bolt receiver is apparently better than the old Unify receiver as firstly it has a more secure connection making it great for office use and the latency is super low using it over Bluetooth. Funnily enough, the latency is actually nearly half on a Mac than it is on a Windows PC, which is really interesting, but in the real world, I don't think you'll notice it. And let's be honest, you're not gonna be using this mouse for any serious gaming. The Bolt receiver isn't compatible with the MX Master 3. So if you need a stronger, more secure connection, then you will have to go for the 3S model. Now, when connecting this up to your computer, I highly recommend downloading Logitech software because of its expanded capabilities that you can do with this mouse. So first of all, it's really easy to connect it to this software, but once you do, you've got a whole plethora of modifications that you can do to this mouse. So every button pretty much on this mouse can be reconfigured to almost anything you like. And you can even set different macros and different gestures to each of the buttons. And you can even set it to specific programs for each of those. So you can have different settings or different macros for each of the different programs, which I absolutely love and is one of the reasons why I love this mouse so much. Another feature that makes this key for me is that because I do use both Windows and Mac OS on basically the same desk, it's nice to have the Logitech Flow option, which allows you to literally move your mouse across both your screens, one being Windows, one being Mac, for example, and it just automatically switches between the two. It's almost like universal control, but works with both Mac and Windows rather than it just working with Mac and other devices. Now they've also increased the DPI from 4,000 to 8,000, which makes tracking on larger screens and multi screens a lot smoother and faster. And I've definitely noticed a difference, but for me, I actually set my DPI between sort of three and a half thousand to 4,000 anyway. So for me, it's not that useful, but for some, they might want that extra DPI. Now, one very small difference is that if you want to use this with an iPad, well, now you can without having to buy the Mac version of the MX Master 3, which I actually never did do anyway, um, which is nice because yeah, you actually had to buy the Mac version of this mouse in order for it to work with the iPad. Well, now this works with every single one of your devices and you don't have to go and buy a specific model just for it to work with another device. Never understood why. So yeah, that's basically the only difference with the MX Master 3S. Basically you get four differences, which is the mouse clicks, the DPI, the bolt receiver, and then obviously that Mac uh, and iPad connectivity. Apart from that, everything else is exactly the same. Charging is done via the same USB-C port at the front. And according to Logitech, you should get around 70 days of use before you need to recharge it. But if I'm not mistaken, that is the same battery life as the MX Master 3. So for me, I would probably say you're getting more like sort of 50 to 60 days from my experience, depending on how, you, how much you use it. So here's the thing. Right now, the MX Master 3S is £120. However, the MX Master 3 can be picked up for between $80 to $100 or pounds. And when you're talking about that kind of price difference, then it is a little bit harder to justify the MX Master 3S because it's just not a noteworthy update. Now, if the price difference at the time that you are shopping is only sort of 20 pounds or dollars, then spend the extra 20 pounds or dollars. However, if it's more than that, then don't do it because 
honestly, it's not that much of a difference. And if you are someone who has already got the MX Master 3, then just skip this and wait for the MX Master 4 because yeah, there's honestly no difference whatsoever. Unless those extra features that I've spoken about are features that you have been waiting for and has been an annoyance of the MX Master 3, then yes, okay, go ahead, spend $120 on it. But for anyone else who hasn't got an MX Master 3, or even if you are someone who has got an MX Master 2S or lower, then get this mouse right now because it is a huge difference to those mouse and you will thank me. It has honestly changed my workflow when it comes to productivity and video editing. If you do want to pick up the MX Master 3S, then I will leave a link down in the description below, but I will also leave a link down to the MX Master 3 as well, just so that you can compare the latest prices to see if it's worth picking up this or whether it's worth picking up this one. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter at TechCarMoon. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can watch more videos like this in the future. But if you want to see more videos from me right now, you guys know what to do. There's two videos right over here. Go ahead, just click it, you'll love it. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.